All right, so I'm going to talk fast, y'all, this is fast. This is about hacking hardware for fun and profit, though, and I know guarantees about the fucking part of your but very important word. You could have been denied a lot of fuse around the back. Okay. <laughs> What I'm talking about the hardware is the microcontroller. A microcontroller is basically a computer on a chip. Unlike a regular CPU, it also has its own memory system. It's got flash memory, it holds your program code. It's got timers and counters, analog to digital inputs, and uh, it can do a lot of stuff. <coughs> Consider the project TV Be Gone. The guy that did this was mad because every time he was at a restaurant, the TV was drowning out his conversation. He got a microcontroller out and uh, uh, infrared LED hacked them together, learned it, built basically a universal remote that can send only the off signal to every brand of TV at once. <laughs> this guy took a kilowatt energy meter and with a microcontroller, some uh, wireless stuff, he now has a kilowatt that tweets its energy usage out to its Twitter, his Twitter account. <laughs> this guy decided he really liked uh, wireless streaming, uh, wireless uh, I mean, internet radio, so he built himself a wireless internet radio that streamed over to his uh, to wherever he was at his house. Cool. Uh, this woman built a jacket. There's buttons at the, in her cuffs, and when she's bicycling, it's her turn signals. <laughs> and you press the button and it flashes so many times. People so, microcontrollers are cheap. Uh, the, this tiny little one here comes for as little as $1.40 quantity one. Uh, it's pretty small, 1K over in. Uh, but it has uh, several IO pins. You could control you know, several things with it. Uh, this pick down here has got a whole lot of IO, plus a fair amount of RAM flash, and it's on the A75. Uh, all of these, board, all of these uh, chips need regulated power, and they need some circuitry so that you can connect them to your USB port to program. The Arduino board here is open source, both hardware and software. Uh, the IDE runs on PC Mac Linux, it's a C-like language, uh, except there's no memory allocation, so how hard can it be? Uh, basic STEM, uh, closed source, but the IDE free runs on Mac and PC. It's a basic-like language that uh, is very easy to learn and, and use. Uh, there's a lot of things you can connect to your market controller. This uh, programmable RGB LED, I actually have one of those, and it is insanely bright. You can, it hurts your eyes to look directly at it. You can easily see it in broad daylight. You can program it to play sequences. So if something in your project is connected to does something, you can use this as a way to display its state. Uh, accelerometer, temperature, and humidity, those are pretty straightforward. Light intensity, that, that little uh, chip there is a really good. I played with that. It, it does a phenomenal job of measuring everything from bright sunlight to one foot candle. Uh, the subsonic range finder is good to one inch out to 180 inches. Uh, this OLED display is from a, a cell phone. You can easily connect it to a microcontroller, and you can display pictures, anything that you would see on your cell phone display, that kind of thing. What do you need? You need a basic understanding of electricity. Uh, we're talking high school level here pretty much. Uh, maybe Ohm's Law. That's about a little bit of my skills. Uh, soldering. Uh, again, you know, I used to do some soldering in high school. That's about the school level that you need. This is all through hole. It's not service now. Um, parts scattered from old electronics, we're lucky we all have a whole box full of wall warts at home. Uh, we've got old uh, printers and scanners that all have stepper motors and uh, other components, magnets and so forth. Uh, you also need some URLs to good sources. So, SparkFun is the guys that the, one of the best US vendors uh, for the Arduino board. Parallax does the uh, basic stamps, and they also have a chip called a propeller chip that's actually about 60 MIPS, or no, I think it's 120 MIPS, it's actually 16 cores running on one microcontroller. It can actually do live action uh, composite video out. They actually used that one chip to recreate pixel for pixel the Donkey Kong game. Um, these two guys, DigiKey and BG Micro, will sell you individual parts to, to regular old people. You don't have to order a thousand of anything. Um, ADR Freaks is, is a great source for learning to program at milk uh, microcontrollers. Uh, the Arduino guys that, that did the open source board are available. Uh, for inspiration, you've got the Eagle Black Scientist Laboratories. They do one hack a week of their own invention. Hackaday does uh, a set, is a clearinghouse for hacks every day. The Instructables website has uh, all different kinds of instructions to do uh, everything from, uh, you know, making your own snowblower to, you know, it's every kind of thing. It's all, not all electronic. 